Welcome to the Pixel Primary Online Assessment Tool. This software has been designed to offer schools an alternative online assessment to the more conventional paper test. The aim is to help reduce teacher workload with online marking, collation of data, whilst also providing pupils with more immediate feedback. So let's start by taking a look at how we access and use the software. To access the site as a member of staff, log in using your Pixel ID. Staff is the username and your Pixel password. Pupils at this point would use the Pixel ID, their primary wise username and password. Next, select the subject. For the purpose of this training video, we're going to use the practice test. Select the button labeled practice test. This will take you to a screen and show you your QLA mark entry spreadsheet. The information displayed in this table has been compiled using data that has either been entered by the teacher or has been automatically marked in an online assessment. Here we can see that Abbott S has already completed their assessment. Hovering over any of their cells, the site brings up a preview of the question that they attempted and their answer. A long hover will bring up an enlarged preview of their answer in case the text is quite small. As we can see with question four, the student has correctly matched two of the three shapes with its correct name, but not completed the line for the triangle. The mark entry spreadsheet allows you to overrule the system marking and change the result. Simply enter in the new total in the box if required. Question five has a ring around it. This indicates that this question was not marked by the system and needs to be teacher assessed. To mark question five for all pupils, select the ring question at the top of the column. This will bring up a preview window. To enter your teacher assessment, select one of the option buttons at the top to assign a specific number of marks to that pupil's attempt. If there aren't enough devices for each pupil or the question isn't appropriate for online testing, for example, a student may need to use a ruler, then this specific question will need to be printed. With this in mind, once a test has been marked, we can still enter their results into the COVID board. Simply find the pupil in your class register and enter their results into each cell. As soon as a mark is entered, it is automatically saved. We now have all the results for both pupils who completed the test online and on paper in one place. The information stored within the table can be exported in one of two ways either into Excel or a PDF report. The PDF report is customizable and could be shared with parents if appropriate. Alongside the export options, you have the online test button. The online test that a pupil would normally sit is also accessible from the staff account in case you need to model anything to the pupils. One of the more standout features of this tool is the integrated reader. For any student who requires a reader but may not necessarily have access to one, you can select the reader box. This will bring up a button when they are attempting the questions that will freely convert text into speech. The reader option is only available for specific papers. Let's take you back to the home page and walk you through the process from a pupil's perspective. So selecting maths and then practice test, you'll be shown the online assessment Questions come in a variety of formats. With this question, an answer box and a keyboard are displayed. Pupils can enter their answer using the virtual keyboard or the physical keyboard in front of them if they happen to be sat at a laptop or a computer. If pupils are using a touchscreen device, they can also provide working out using the pen tool, but must put their final answer in the answer box. Select submit it to move to the next question. If a student is unsure about how to answer a question, they can skip it and return back to it later. With this next question, a table needs to be completed. Click in each table cell and type in your answer. As you move through the test, you will notice the progress bar sliding along at the top. This shows you how far you've got with the test. At the end of the progress bar is a button titled View Progress. Selecting this button will show you a list of all the questions and answers that you've submitted so far. Should you wish to attempt a question again, because you've either changed your mind about an answer, 
or it was a question that you had previously skipped. Select Attempt this question again. This question will then go to the front of the test question queue. You can then re-attempt this question, overwriting your previous attempt before carrying on as normal. With this multiple choice question, you have four possible answers. Simply select the option that you think the answer is, then submit. One of the final types of questions requires a user to match each shape name to their corresponding shape. With this question, drag the black dots to the answer that you think would link with it. When all are matched, select Submit It. You'll have noticed at the top of the question, students who have been nominated a reader will have the Read option available. Selecting this button, the system will then convert the text to speech and read aloud. At the end of the test, pupils will be given a full breakdown of all questions and answers that they've submitted. This will give pupils one final chance to review their work and finalise their answers. No results will be shown on their feedback screen until they select End the test at the top of this window. Once this is pressed, they have finished the test and can see their on screen feedback. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Pixel Keystage 2 Primary Online Assessment Tool.